Hello viewer, my name is Maina Wambogo Sebastian. I work for a youth organization based in Moranga County called Youth Action for Rural Development. I'm the program manager and the founder. YAD, in short, basically addresses issues to do with the young people, giving them the capacity to utilize their talents and skills for the betterment of the larger society, as they also address their own issues and challenges. We are currently working with the communities in Muranga County, and now expanding to Kiambu counties, doing community work with them, as well as using the skills and talents that have, have young people have. Um, to my friend. Hello, viewer. My name is John Masharia. I work for SCOPE in full schools and colleges permaculture program. This is a network of civil society organizations that work with communities and schools promoting permaculture to enhance access to food security, uh, environmental conservation, and also <clears throat> addressing the issues of health. SCOPE was started in uh, 2014 by 14 NGOs. The offices are in uh, Thika, and our work majorly involves building the capacity of those uh, 14, uh, 18 member organizations to enhance their capacity in working with the schools and also working with the communities. Yeah, for the last one week, we'll be holding a, we'll be hold, we've uh, been holding a workshop and a top, and this basically brought together young people who have uh, skills in the use of computers and technology, and uh, TOP. TOP stands for Technology of Peace, and YAD is a founder member. And basically what TOP is doing is trying to look for solutions that are around us so that we are able to meet some of the challenges discuss them, address them, and we are able, by our own selves, able to address those challenges. So top basically means bringing minds of the people together that have experiences, that are learning, and we are able to use this so that we are able to address the myriad challenges that we have in organizations. So in the last one week, we've been having a group of young people and they are basically using technology to address some of the challenges that we are facing. For example, issues to do with the drought. Water efficiency is a big issue, and the fact that we're not able to use water efficiently, which is not adequate anyway. So the use of technology by young people and making agriculture more smart by young people is part of what we've been doing the whole of this week under the auspice of of top. Uh, we've also been looking at what top would mean to us, and one way is tapping our potential. May, people have potentials, young people have their own potential, and sometimes it only requires harnessing this together so that we are able to come up with very efficient and sustainable solutions to the challenges that we meet. I'm very grateful that SCOPE is a founder member of TOP, Technologies of Peace, because having been working with the schools, with the young people, we find that in Kenya, most of the young peoples are not attracted to agricultural activities. Because based on how it is uh, being done, you find that it is used as a, uh, punishment in schools and then hard labor at community level. And therefore, when we are, work, when we are, when we are working with the young people, uh, we try to nurture them and bring them to closer to the agricultural activities. Through TOP, we are trying to uh, bring technologies, especially the IT, so that uh, our youth are attracted to, to ensure that we improve the production, we improve the operation of agricultural activities to the young people. And in the last one week, we have seen uh, young people who have just completed their education system, and some of them are looking for employment, coming together to learn the various techno technological uh, 
technologies in production and mainly that can operate in agricultural production, maybe irrigation and, <clears throat> and even controlling the temperatures. And we are hoping that even in management of these, of these uh, agricultural activities. This is giving hope to the young people. We have seen the motivation, the passion that they have to participate in these activities. And we are sure of that if we continue with this program, more and more youth will come on board, they will create their own employment, and therefore we'll be addressing the issue of various challenges, the socioeconomic problems that our country is facing, starting from unemployment, uh, food insecurity, and even management of natural resources in the country. Therefore, through top, this is just the beginning. It has been an eye-opener, and we are hoping that more and more youth across the country will uh, go through this training to ensure that they actively participate in the development of our country. Um, there are immense opportunities in top. You know, the, the young people as a human resource, the skills that they have, top can really open up huge opportunities for them. And so Top Kenya uh, kind of is opening opportunities for people, and particularly young people. It's been known Kenya that Kenya all over the world has a great potential in its own resource, the people. So Top will be addressing many of these uh, young people, bringing their talents and skills together, maybe at the county levels, at the national level, so that the opportunities that are within our, amongst ourselves, the potential that is amongst ourselves is really enhanced through TOP. So we see a very bright future for TOP in the coming days. Be part of the team, be part of one, be part of the solution. Once again, I'm very grateful that TOP is in place. The program has already started. And I'm seeing this as a sustainable solution to the major challenges that Kenya has been experiencing. Bearing in mind that over 60% of Kenya population are young people who are in schools and some who are out of schools. And therefore, through TOP program, we are, the youth will, uh, in one way or another, become a solution to the major problems that this country has been struggling with. I'm looking forward to a situation where the program will be roll out, rolled out to even schools so that those young, those young people in schools to uh, be nurtured and uh, bear their or see their solutions or even <clears throat> become or attain this, uh, this, uh, attain this knowledge when they are still in schools and when they, they get out of schools, or when, once they graduate, they already know what they are going to do, addressing the challenges that are facing the communities. So I'm looking at a situation whereby TOP will strengthen the capacity and even roll out the program to even other schools and youth out of the schools.